it's in some other places that patient has it from drugstore. Here you have cannabis and treat yourself, like pill, and maybe this is not the correct strain. So, so this is better system, and uh, patient can uh, come back to the grower. And even if, if uh, this is heart disease, that uh, patient cannot come, so they can bring you home also this cannabis. No problem. This service also is in Israel, so this is very good uh, system. Cannabis is uh, today, they tried growers uh, many types of uh, cannabis products. Usually cannabis is in oil. This is not cannabis oil because cannabis oil is in the fact cannabis extract. Then you extract cannabis with solvent and then you evaporate it and Rick uh, Simpson call it oil, yes? But what I'm talking about, oil, this is just extract of cannabis plant in vegetable oil. So they use like medium and forte oils, two types. Cannabis cakes, these are predominantly used for children. As you can see, one baker prepared it uh, and uh, it has several parts, so you can use only small parts of this cake so it's very safe and patients which are not smoking so they prefer also these cannabis cakes also can be prepared uh, medium and forte cannabis cream which of course cannot be sold uh, just in store because this has a higher amount of THC which uh, cannabis uh, which a patient can use topically So as I told you, permit uh, was issued about for 15,000 Israelis, and we expect that in near future we shall have about uh, 40,000 patients in Israel which will be treated with cannabis. I won't return, unfortunately, I, I was supposed to have these slides when I talk about diabetes, and can be treated both as uh, type 1, as type 2 and it was uh, also proved that uh, cannabidiol is very important in treatment of uh, diabetes. Here I show you in the Czech Republic is one uh, grower, illegal grower of course because there are not illegal growers. His name is Dušan Dvořák and he had uh, many problems with police. He just only grows cannabis and treats patients and uh, prepared for them oil and so on. So the, here is one example, lady, uh, diabetic, 70 years old woman, and she had uh, diabetic food, what is, as you know, it usually terminates with amputation of the femurs and then up to the leg it, because it continues. So he treated this lady with uh, cannabis oil. As you can see, December to 10 and after half a year in May to 11, how it looks. It helped her very good. And she had, unfortunately, first picture they took with bad camera, so it's not such good. This was her second leg, which uh, physicians suggested amputation. So he told her that she tried to treat it. And after half a year, you can see how this uh, diabetic toe looks, that uh, it looks really very good, that uh, return color of this leg. And uh, I asked this, uh, this is Dushan Bozak, this, uh, this guy which has many problems with the law all the time is a trial and uh, on the other side is physician which with him treated this woman i asked him last week if he can visit this woman and uh, take some pictures for me that i can show you so this is this uh, this lady this is her leg which was supposed to be amputated it looks like that you can see how it looks uh, 
now it looks very good. She still used this oil and the other leg where was this finger, finger looks also very good and this lady, she doesn't work too much but he told me when he was over there she could do 50, 50 steps. Like, so what is wonderful? This is Dushan, this is he, in his garden, he cultivates cannabis and uh, every time when he cultivates it, he sent letter to judges, to police, that he cultivates cannabis for treatment of patients and for research, but it's prohibited, so he's doing something illegal. So nothing happens after he sent letters, but when is several days before harvest, so come volunteers and harvest him cannabis. This was for the fifth time, just about uh, one week ago, and harvest his cannabis. So he has many problems, but he wants to go with his head against the uh, wall, because now he considers it uh, like principle, you know, that patients must be treated, and is uh, talking a lot about this uh, diabetic food. Because this is not the best example, but uh, you get these pictures which uh, was able to give me immediately. In Israel, just I return, what is permitted to treat? As you see, oncological diseases, any type of cancer at any stage, chronic pain of different origin. You know, this is uh, from different chronic pain, uh, like for instance also, uh, Phantom pain. You don't have leg, was amputated, but you have pain in this leg, which you don't have. So it can be also treated, this cannabis. Multiple sclerosis is a wonderful treatment, of course. We heard uh, yesterday how miraculous is cannabis for, for multiple sclerosis treatment. I have a friend in Prague, he was on a wheelchair, and uh, Treatment cost him 18,000 euro every year. Of course, without any success, father suggested him try to smoke marijuana. So he did first puff and get up for, from wheelchair. Like unbelievable. So he told us, so I am healthy patient. So he started again work and uh, he's using all the time cannabis and he tried also cannabis which uh, grows wild in southern Moravia in Czech Republic and this is very low with THC and CBD and he found that also this helps him. So I saw it, he just one puff and he told me exactly, I calculated it's 1.6 kilometer I walk without any problem with one puff. Otherwise he must stay on wheelchairs. So he's walking with stick but he's okay. So what is red here? These are diseases which are treated experimentally. Yes, so these are not uh, generally to all cannabis patients. So this is Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, Tourette disease and fibromyalgia. But others like glaucoma, Crohn's disease and other diseases of gastrointestinal tract, colitis, muscular dystrophy, AIDS, hypertension, PTSD, as I told you, diabetes, and others are treated in Israel with cannabis. And still we have more and more knowledge, so everything can be improved. What tried growers to prepare for patients? I had all these products for analysis. So dry flowering tops, this is common, this is the buds. Extracts from this uh, flowering tops, this is so called oil, cannabis oil. An extract uh, of cannabinoid buds in oil, you put into vegetable oil for extract. Cannabis cakes, which were not allowed, but are allowed uh, for children. Cannabis tincture, <coughs> which is very good as I told you. Cannabis honey, cannabis sugar, cannabis cream even. They feel waffles with cannabis cream. Unfortunately, cannabis suppository, what is a very good choice, they didn't accept it in Israel, at least yet. 
cannabis is very important to be sterile for patients, with, for immunocompromised patients, which undergoes uh, this treatment because they have no resistance, no immunity. So it's very important because if cannabis is not clean, if there are some fungi or aspergillus, they can have aspergillosis, what can be very dangerous, they can die from that. So we tried also uh, this patient uh, treat with sterilized cannabis. There are a little bit decreased compounds, not significantly, but it's sterile and it's no danger, especially for children patients. And uh, as you can see here, when uh, are doing bone marrow transplantations, so this is many children, so they use uh, just cannabis for treatment and effectivity is about 80%, what is wonderful because just so many medicine which treats uh, at such high percentage successfully. It's not common. They feel also okay. They like to live, you know. They are happy with children. So it's very important, this medicine. So why not to use it? And why if, it's, uh, if it will be implemented in other countries? Why start to research in this country that already are other countries which has uh, very good research and they are ready to help, such as inform, free of charge, nobody wants anything for them. We are just happy that we can present it, that we can help, you know, because this is the best reward that you can help to somebody, just uh, free of charge, without anything. Also important is neuroprotection, because as you know, there are many car accidents, uh, especially young uh, persons, teenagers and so on, has car accidents and have head injury. So we studied it at the Hebrew University and we found that one of the endocannabinoids, this is compound or this key which uh, produces uh, brain, can protect this because after head injury increased uh, during four hours significantly this endocannabinoid and after 24 hours as you can see still was higher level so body was uh, fighting to protect this injured head we tried to use uh, for treatment this 2-AG, this is 2-arachidonoylglycerol, this endocannabinoid, as, as you can see, control, this white place uh, on the left, uh, this is just injury, and when we used uh, 2-AG for treatment, so it was singly, significantly faster. So this can show you protection, just natural protection of the body, this endocannabinoids, and uh, as cannabinoids mimic this endocannabinoids, so use fullness of treatment with cannabinoids. Appetite and feeding. Very important. Uh, this, again, we studied at Hebrew University how grows uh, small pups, just uh, small mice, and they grow regular like green. If you give them THC, so they are even healthier and grew better. When we gave them antagonist, this SR141716A, this is compound which blocks cannabinoid receptors, so in the body cannot uh, enter these cannabinoid receptors, uh, endocannabinoids, or also cannot enter cannabinoids. So you see that uh, in 12 days, uh, in six days, 12 pups died, and in 13 days, all pups were dead. But if they use this antagonist with THC, so this mice survived and they grew almost uh, regularly, as you can see. So uh, very important. Also bone remodeling. You know, for, inst uh, for instance, uh, 
Okay, here I have another slide uh, to that, uh, that uh, concerning bones uh, in uh, Greece. There is just different density of the bones because they use uh, olive oil, which is uh, very healthy. And uh, there are positive compounds. Okay, what I show you, these are some endocannabinoids, anandamide, uh, arachidonoyl serine, oleoil etanolamide and oleoil serine. And uh, we again studied uh, how it influences uh, bone density because also older people have osteoporosis. So if it was uh, artificial ovariectomy, after ovariectomy, start uh, to be lower density of the bones and when we gave uh, to these uh, animals uh, oleoil serine so density of bones increased so it influenced bones very good so it can be in effect also in the future used for treatment of osteoporosis because in the bones and in marrow uh, also good amounts of cannabinoid receptors because of that it can be treated. Alzheimer's disease. This is as I said in Israel treated almost only experimentally but I would like to show you several unbelievable simply examples. What I was surprised we were all surprised. Because I